is mint going away is mint closing down what's happening with mint well guess what it's just simply moving over to credit karma so all the features you know and love are moving so in this video i'm going to show you how to move your data from mint to credit karma and i'm going to show you how to use the budgeting and category features over there so you're going to receive an email from mint to get started with the transition so when you receive the email you're going to simply click get started when you click that get started button it's going to take you over to credit karma you're going to log in and there's a big banner at the top that says move to credit karma that is just moving your links your linked can linked accounts over all right so here on the screen you can see it's telling you what it's going to move and you decide if you want to do that or not and if so you're going to click move it's not going to automatically move your data for you you will need to do this now once you get over here again it's going to ask you to log in over at credit karma it's logging me in setting up the account getting the dashboard ready all that great stuff now it says congrats your work here is done so in just a couple of minutes everything will be moved over that they had inside of mint so i personally used it for tracking transactions i didn't use it for tracking my net worth or anything like that i used it simply to track my day-to-day -day spending because that's hard to do so here coming up i'm going to show you exactly how that works in mint all right so it moved over a few bank accounts there now the first screen is going to bring you to should be the net worth but if it doesn't go to creditkarma.com forward slash net worth and this is the screen that you will see now it's brought over a uh, several accounts right it doesn't clearly have everything and i'm going to show you why so as you scroll through the screen you'll see that voila my assets are missing that's because i didn't put any of my assets into mint I do all that tracking over at Personal Capital or better known now as Empower. So, oh, <clears throat> excuse me, since I don't have any assets there, it's only gonna show debt. So I have some credit cards and I have some uh, mortgages and some you know different things there that it's pulling from my credit report because that's what Credit Karma really started as, a credit reporting tool so that you can freely and easily see what's on your credit report so it's doing its best job to pull in some things there so that's all that is so i don't have any assets there pulled in i have some of my debts pulled in and it's automatically doing that for me here on this net worth screen i don't plan on using any assets in this tool at all so i'm just going to really ignore what this looks like on the net worth tool but if that's something that would be nice for you you can have an all-in-one definitely add in your assets connect those accounts and it will update every night on automatic autopilot now december spending this is the part i think that most people are really interested in and that's tracking your spending so as you're making transactions and those accounts are linked whenever you swipe your card let's say at the gas station or you buy something online it's going to pop up in this recent transactions and it's going to do its best job to categorize those transactions and so when you come in you can easily see what those look like so i'll go into detail and show you how to track your spending using credit karma now i'm going to click see more on my december spending and here i can see a nice chart of my spending now towards the end of the year obviously there's more spending for the holidays there's more spending on um, in my business taxes things of that nature so i'm going to scroll down and i can see the categories here so that's the nice feature about using this to track your spending is you can see the category so obviously taxes i paid ten thousand dollars in taxes uh, for my business and so i can click see all to see the specific transactions all right 
And, but again, this is the nice feature of any tracking tool, because when you have day-to-day -day expenses, then you can come in and say, okay, how much have I spent in groceries? So my monthly average is 406. Yep. That sounds good. So far in December, I've spent $257 on groceries. That's about right. We're uh, almost three fourths of the way through the month. So that makes a lot of sense. Taxes there, shopping, obviously it's Christmas time. So there's a little bit more money spent. I had some doctor bills to pay, um, travel and vacation, a few things there. So that is the nice feature. This is why you would use the credit karma to track your expenses just so that it will nicely go ahead and group the expenses for you. So I'll just go back. And again, you can see the categories here, taxes, shopping, medical, food and dining, groceries, etc. So hopefully that helped you to understand that now Mint has moved to Credit Karma. It doesn't mean that <laughs> your that Mint has totally gone away. They do have a mobile app, Credit Karma, so you can download that. But those same features that you know and love of tracking your spending, seeing how much you've spent so far in different categories is still there. So rest assured, you just need to now get the Credit Karma app. I hope this video has been helpful. Please reach out to me, LakeishaSimmons.com. If you have any questions, you can comment below as well. Cheers to financial freedom.